Hi everyone and happy Halloween. I hope you're all having a spooktacular time. My name is Olivia and with a little help from some of my friends, we're going to look at how to be safe at home. I'm going to ask some questions and you have to pick an answer. Then we'll see how you did. Okay, let's meet my first friend, Werewolf. Werewolf is a big fan of food and loves to cook his own dinner. I wonder what he's cooking in his frying pan tonight. As he is cooking, he hears the doorbell ring. I wonder who that could be. Werewolf needs to go and answer the door, but what should he do about his cooking? Should he A, leave it as it is, it's fine to just leave it for a moment, or B, remove the frying pan and turn off the heat? That's right, it's B. You should never leave anything cooking on your stove unattended. If you do need to leave the kitchen, make sure it is turned off. Let's look elsewhere in the house. This is Mummy. Mummy really likes her candles, especially at Halloween, to make things look scary. This year, Mummy is worried that the candles might burn her bandages. What could Mummy do to be safer? A. Use flameless electric candles or B, buy bigger candles that she can stay away from. She could try using flameless electric candles. These are much safer than regular candles, but look just like the real thing. Who should we see next? I know, let's see Skeleton. Skeleton has recently learned about the importance of smoke and heat alarms and wants to put them up in the house. He knows that you should always place a heat alarm in the kitchen instead of a smoke alarm. He just isn't sure where he should put the smoke alarms. Where do you think he should put them? A. One smoke alarm in the hall should be fine. Or B. A smoke alarm in the hall as well as any room where a fire may start. You should have a smoke alarm in the hall as well as any room where a fire might start, except your bathroom and kitchen. You should also have a carbon monoxide alarm, especially if you have an open fire or a wood burner. Now that it's dark in the evening, Vampire wants to go for a walk. When he's out on the streets, he always makes sure to follow the green cross code. But what else can he do to make sure he is safer when it is dark out? A. Wear bright, reflective clothing or B, wear dark black clothing. That's right, by wearing bright reflective clothing when it is dark out, it means that we are more visible to other road users, like people who are driving around in their cars. Well, I think I'm ready for bed. I want to be extra safe while I sleep, so we are doing our bedtime checklist. I'm making sure that my phone charger is unplugged. Werewolf is going to check the oven is off. Mummy is blowing out her candles. Skeleton is making sure that we have a clear way out if there is a fire. But what should I do about the doors in our house? A, should I leave them open during the night? Or B, keep them closed during the night? You're correct, we should keep them closed. If there is a fire, closed doors will slow down how fast it spreads, giving the fire brigade time to respond. I hope you've had fun and maybe even learnt something new. Before you go, we've got one more activity for you. If you get your parents to click the link on this video, you can download our fire engine activity sheet, where you can make your very own paper fire engine. What we'd like you to do is design us a spooky Halloween fire engine and then get your parents to share with us what they look like. <laughs>